there are a lot of things happening this weekend uh, in my garden. I have a lot of projects uh, that I really wanted to finish. I am volunteering my son, which is behind my camera right now. He wants something, so in exchange, I want a few hours of work in the garden, things that he can do. And I really, really am very excited because today, the main purpose for this video is to show you how I'm making a few panels for this year, at least, for growing my tomatoes. I play around with the idea of making some cattle panels or something with wood or something with metal at the end I just decided to match what I already have going on here which is black square trellises I went to Lowe's and I purchased a bunch of two by twos and I painted those with black paint regular outdoor paint nothing special and I have those ready and I also got the same panels that I have for my arbor the arbor that uh, I have here at the front of my garden. I am going to use the same panels. I purchased those at Lowe's. A lot of you have asked me where I got those. I'm going to put the link in the description. So if you can find them locally, that's awesome. But basically the idea that I have is to make a few panels that I can easily move around year after year as needed. I don't want anything permanent in these beds. Uh, because I don't know if this year I'm going to be doing tomatoes or next year I'm going to be doing cucumbers and I just need to change the way that I set up the trellises on the bed. So I want something that I can easily move and it's going to make a lot of sense when I finish the panels. But let me show you how my husband is going to put those together. But before we do that, I wanted to show you how my gorgeous, gorgeous siblings are doing because they spent their first night outside last night. Today will be their, their full day outside. Well, really yesterday it was their full day outside, but today seems to be a little bit cloudy and it's just, it's just going to be amazing. They are doing great. The weather has been perfect for hardening off. And in my past video, I believe that I show you kind of how I did that using a canopy that I have. So it's working really, really well for me. Let me show you. I have quite a few seedlings here in this bed that I set up here. This is where I had the canopy uh, in the last couple of days. I show you how I did that in my last video. So if you want to see, just go ahead and, and check that. But I have a bunch of trays underneath this as well of things that are uh you know just being outside and like i mentioned last night was their first night outside without cover without anything so they are doing amazing actually gosh these geraniums these geraniums are quite amazing they really they really need to be planted outside you guys look at these geraniums they are calling for more more room and i bet the the root system is is happening but i am very very happy with how everything is looking this is my fourth year growing vegetables and flowers from seed and i honestly think that this year has been the best year as far as my seedlings go every year i have been trying to tweak my technique to try to do things better for my seedlings to be healthier and my goodness they're they're amazing i actually i don't think that i show you but this is the first year that i start a bunch of seeds that I normally direct sowed, like watermelons, melons, zucchini, uh, cucumelons. What else do we have here? Squash. I direct sow them about two weeks ago. I didn't want to be pushing it too much, but two weeks ago I came here and I put a bunch of of these seeds in big containers and they're they're just thriving. They're doing they're doing quite well. So I am excited about those. I have a lot of things here, you guys. I have. This is my only elephant ear that made it from the three corms that I try indoors. Only one made it and that's fine. I mean, look at that. There, it's looking amazing. So like I said, I have a lot of these seedlings. It's going to take me a long time to get these guys planted where they need to be and and that's fine. I am going to enjoy the process. I definitely do have a lot of decisions to make as far as where I want this, but from year one, every time that I decide where things are going, where thing, things are going to grow in my garden, as far as vegetables go, the first decision that I make is where I am going to plant my tomatoes. And that is really the, the biggest, the most important thing that I am growing as far as my vegetable garden goes. So once I decide where those are going and once I have a place for them, then everything else just kind of goes around them. And that's why I'm making those trellises. That's why I'm probably going to be planting those tomatoes because I mean, they're ready. Honestly, they're ready. And the weather as far as the next few days looks amazing. So I am not worried about these tomatoes uh, getting something damaged. My last average frost date happened on April 25th. We're already a few weeks after that. So um, I'm good, I'm good. 
these are the panels that I purchased at Lowe's. Like I said, I'm gonna have the links uh, underneath this video if you wanna find them. But these are the panels that I use for making the artwork behind me. And I love these panels. They are, they're really, really heavy duty. These are supposed to be trellises for the wall. They actually come with uh, hardware for you to install them on the wall. We're not gonna need any of those. My, my husband actually just purchased a few um, screws that he needs for putting the panels together and I think this is going to be amazing and I know some of you are thinking Rosanna that's like a lot of money that you're spending for just the trellises and yes you are right but you guys these guys are going to last me for a while and honestly after the panels are put together each panel is going to be about $50 roughly and I'm okay with that I am completely okay with that because like I say these are trellises that I'm going to be able to move year after year and I am going to be able to set them up however way I want them for whatever it is that I decide to grow on them and this year is going to be the year for growing tomatoes on them and I'm excited about that. I can't fit these, these panels onto my screen. So we have all the four panels done for the tomato trellises. Like I mentioned, we make these uh, in four pieces and my husband already showed you how he did this. I am so grateful he's right behind the camera. I'm so grateful for his help, but he finished this up and we are getting ready to set them up. Uh, we play around with the idea of using wood posts, but we ended up um, using some t posts that I'm going to put all the information exactly which kind there are. I find those at Tractor Supplies and I think they're going to work great for what we need and I just painted them black, just regular satin spray paint um, that I found at Lowe's. So hopefully, hopefully they, they look great. Really quick you guys, I want to show you this just in case uh, if you're making this you can kind of see what I'm, I'm talking about. The panels that I got have like a right side and then a wrong side. This is like nice flat looking part. This will be the one that it's like facing the, the good side. And then if you flip the panels, you can see that they have like the like the wrong side as well. 
I don't know if that makes sense, but if you buy these panels and if you're putting these panels together using more than one panel, just make sure to face the panels the right way so that, you know, one is not looking weird next to the other. We are finally done uh, building these trellises. I am honestly very, very happy about the way that they came out. Um, my husband decided to put a sort of um, like an extra attachment here at the very top in the inside on both ends, just to make it a little bit sturdier. But honestly, these things are not going anywhere. Like these things are solid and I am very very happy you guys about how it came out my husband may have commented this look like um, like little jails for the tomatoes and basically that's what they are right they're going to be uh, cages or guides trellises supports for the tomatoes that I want to put here and I thought that I was going to show you guys how I was going to plant the tomatoes but honestly with the way that we have been working yesterday and today and just it's almost dinner time and we're done. Like I am done. I don't want to deal with any more plants or anything um, working outside as far as today goes. Uh, tomorrow will be another day, but I am definitely going to show you how I'm going to plan everything. It's just, it's going to have to be in another video. But if you guys have any questions about how we build these panels, uh, just let me know in the comments. I try to make all the information available, whether if it's uh, information on the screen or or links in the description of these videos. But if you have any extra questions, just let me know. Um, I feel like I did a pretty good job of just showing you how simple it is to put these frames, panels together. And uh, I'm very, very happy. The trellises, the bottom of the trellises are not touching the ground. They are raised from the ground and they're being held by the t post that I show you uh, earlier. And if I have to guess, I will say they're about, I don't know, 15, 18 inches from the ground. 
we wanted to make them tall but not too tall and like I say these panels I am going to be able to use them year after year whether if I want to just keep them here or I can easily just take these uh, down and put them in a teepee form or just by themselves I can play with them in the position that I want them in my raised bed so that's exactly what I wanted and these wood with these panels together are going to last me for a while and like I said roughly about $50 per piece per panel and I'm okay with that because I know that if I buy something like a trellis like a metal trellis something about this size it's going to be about the same price so I'm okay with spending that much money today this year and being able to reuse them year after year and hopefully by August by the end of August you won't be able to see what I have here because the tomatoes are going to take over at least that's the wish for for this year it's been a long weekend for gardening but I am really thankful that my family volunteered to help me in the garden because I had my kids waiting my husband was helping me with the trellises I was pulling weeds I was doing mulching I was doing all the things I really really got ahead of the things that I needed to do um, there's still a lot to do but it's going to take a while. The fact that it has been warm here earlier in the spring has allowed me to be outside earlier doing the things that I need to do. And I'm really happy. I'm really happy where I am so far with plants and seedlings and all of that. Thank you for being here, you guys. And until the next time.